Hello, hello. Hello, ah! oh, pumpkin seeds. Welcome to episode 30 of 30. Wow, it's episode 30. Welcome to episode 30 of the Incredibox series where we make keys that are killer. What you're watching right now is the second video I published back in India. I, I recorded this video back in America. Again, back with the lovely Guam right here where it selects a mod for me to play. There are currently eight mods in the wheel and now one will be deducted, making it seven. And gotta put on the headset because I wanna hear the drum roll. And obviously, milk is good for you. Always drinking it every episode. All right, let's spin in three, two, one, go! I accidentally right clicked again. Three, two, one, go! And this video's mod is going to be time! So, um, some unfortunate news. My PC hates the Windows version of Time. Oh, come on! So maybe in another future Incredibox episode, if this lines, I'll download the Android version. Look, Time fans, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to spin it again. In three, two, one, go! And this video's mod going to be the masks! Woo! Now goodbye, sucker! Yes, it worked! For the best experience, wear a mask. Uh, I don't have one near me. Ah, eh, whatever. Alright, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The masks. Whoa, that is cool. For some reason, it kind of looks a bit dim. So all of the poster boys are wearing masks. But we can't talk about them just yet. But they're wearing masks too? Is that army? And of course, I honor my big thanks for these people who created the mod. Developed by Bon Bonnet. Okay, that's the name of the creator. Bon Bonnet, Brian, Hey, army. Kiki Radish. I think we've heard that name before. Joel C. CO2, Manuel H, Tekka Z, Nikki, Alexander Melpart, and La Bebe. And special thanks to Charles and Person from Brazil for additional help. Person from Brazil is the guy who made Downtown, wasn't he? Okay, now let's talk about the wonderful poster boys. The one on the left is a really creepy looking clown. The one on the right is a... Oh wait, oh I think that's one of the creators. They put themselves to the game. And the one in the middle is a Tengu mask. Now let's click play! Oh yeah, the dark yellow background is cool. And all the icons are masks too. Each of them is different colors, fading from red uh, to blue to ink to black. I could see some references. There's like a hacker mask, a Moai, a ghost face, and, and purge mask. So the beat icons. Obviously the Tengu poster boy, a horse, some kind of creature, a happy looking mask, and a gas mask mask. All right, Tengu, begin! I like how his eyes change. Simple kick. Not simple, it's actually very- It's a very good kick. All right, another comment about the icons, they're really neon and uh, bright. Okay, the horse. <laughs> You got some authentic beatboxing. It's a funny neighing horse. There is beatboxing under that mask too. He's excellent. Eggs. Now B3. Oh! Do look wild. I don't know what he references to. Some Chinese mythical or legendary creature. But some more uh, good authentic beatboxing. Now the yellow. Oh! <laughs> okay, I know what that one's supposed to be. That's um, one of those Matryoshka dolls, where there's another doll inside the other. I used to own one of those back when I was younger. I had a weird obsession with smelling it. What? <sighs> Shouldn't have said that. Admirable clicking noises, and when she winks, it makes another sound too. Now, the green. <coughs> oh, are you okay? <coughs> you need a doctor. <coughs> it reminds me of the coughing dude from Morineo. But the coughing sounds were good. It looks like he got some infection in his left arm and there is cloth wrapped around it. I think every polo is going to be wearing a mask. Not barefaced. But now let's see what all of the beats sound like together. <coughs> <coughs> Really? 
really awesome big group up. My favorites would have to be the Tengu, uh, the Chinese dragon bear, and the gas mask. Now we got the effects, which goes from dark green to purple. So this one's, uh, looks like an African mask. I think I own one of those. A purge mask. I think that's another poster boy. An octopus? And a clown mask. All right, the dark green. Oh. That is one ear-tickling bass. But at the end of each verse, there's some deep synth that inclines and then declines. A really good effect. Now the purge mask, which is teal. It's electronic. I think all of these masks represent a different type of culture. Country, video game, music. Like this one was ja this one's Japanese, Chinese, Russian. Uh, this one's like uh, some World War, African, and this one is the EDM genre. My favorite sound so far. Now the Sky Rabbit. Oh. That's hard. When he inflates his cheeks, he makes a really fat bass. So there's bass number one and bass number two. Another amazing effect. Now the blue octo. Ow! Since it's an octopus, might as well make it sound aquatic. I don't know what that reference hints to. It's like as if you're going under the deep sea. Another nice effect. Now the purple clown. <laughs> of course, laughing sounds. <laughs> Yep, that's the third poster boy. I never thought I'd see Olivia Rodrigo in Incredibox. <laughs> it's like the, the black dude from Express. Now let's assemble all of the effects. Another nice group sound. My favorite effects would probably be the first three. And I think uh, effect one might be a didgeroo instrument. So effect one is an Australian mask. Now the melodies, where it fades from pink to brown. This one looks like a, a, I think a skull. And it has an Astro Boy hairline. A Harlequin? I could not identify that object. Oh boy, this better be a plague doctor. Plague doctors are so cool. And a tiki. All right, the lavender skull. Love the pianos. Love the pianos. You know I love pianos. It appears to be a Dia de los Muertos polo. I like how the teeth lights up for each piano note. Now the Pepto Bismol Harlequin. That must have been someone's actual voice for a melody. Did you see how the jaw's one way of maneuvering? Another good melody. Now we've got melody three. Oh, it's a rooster. So melody three must represent southern people. I think it was making whistle sounds. I like it, it's an adorable design. Oh boy, the Maroon Plague Doctor. Let's see. Ooh! Brass? That one has to be the best melody. It sounds similar to the canon from X-Run. Yeah, X-Run. He is one of the melodies. And I like how he looks incredibly pissed. Now, Melody 5, which is the Brown Tiki Mask.
Uh, this would be my least favorite melody. It's kind of an out of tune melody. Uh, somewhat similar to Always Polo Sounds. No offense. This one obviously represents the Hawaiian culture. Probably like it more if it was in tune. But now all the melodies are set out! Get another nail sound group up. And I just realized Melody 5 could actually be a B. It plays all other sounds together. You, you cannot hear his tune, but just his beat. Now we've got voices. Cream to black. So this one's a hacker mask. We got two for one. A comical robot. Okay, this one I'm excited. And the ghost face from Scream. Alright, hacker mask. How do you hack us? Insert password. Warning system failure imminent. Insert password. Access granted. Please press enter to continue. Yes, vocals! Thank you! I like how his lyrics are hacking system sounds. Like, uh, continuing, uh, pressing certain buttons. And you can see some binary code in his eyes. But fear him though, he might leak your search history. Now the double whites. Mask. Mask. What? Come join and wear a mask. 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 Come join and wear a mask. Okay, it's the comedy and tragedy masks. That one says mask and then the other says it too, and then they both say come join and wear a mask in unison. It's like the person wearing a mask has an alter ego, and he wears a, that mask to protect himself. And he sounds like a ghost too. You can barely see uh, a part of his nose right here. That's kind of funny. Beep boop up, we got the great robot. Up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, up, up, down, down, B, A, B, A, up, up, down. Oh no! Power, left, right, up, up, power, B, A, Okay, first, was that the, uh, one of the Nintendo cheat codes? Like, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, and then power the hell it goes. And second, was that Artemis voice acting right there? I could hear a bit of his accent. I mean, when I read the credits, his name appeared there. He did a good job. I like robots, so that was the third vocal. Oh yeah, this one's the hacking culture, comedy and tragedy culture, cyberware culture. Now we're gonna get Easter Island culture. I'm stoked for the Moai. Oh boy. Dark Grey Moai. Show yourself. Hey. Oh. Hey. Who. Hey. Hey. Who. Hey. Hey. Who. Hey. 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 But that count as vocals. Another favorite voice of mine. It does like who. Hey. Ha. 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 Who. Got true. Got who. Got true. I love the design though. Arms, he works out the elbow popping and I wonder if uh the Y statues they're actually buff underneath the terrain. Now the black ghost face mask. Of course, choir. Some really good choir, and that one is the the horror culture. Or Creepy pasta? Yeah, creepy pasta culture. I love his dark attire. Oh no, all of your voices, sing your heart out! Access granted, please press enter to continue. This mod is so damn good. I feel like voice 4 would go really well with the beats. Maybe it could go well with all of them. Robo Dude is funny. And since all of the mask sounds are done, Let's make our own concealed song!
Another savory mod I would recommend. If you want to play it, link is in the description. I'm glad I was able to get some references. There's like a culture party going on around here. I really love the purge mask and the Y dude. And the robot fellow too. And another reason why my mod would deserve my love is because it's really colorful. People tend to get attracted towards bright colors. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey. Hey. Hey.